Hey y'all, this is Richard with RIP One Outdoors. Hey, we're here in beautiful Bay St. Louis in South Mississippi. We have a, an electric trike here for you that we're gonna do some testing and reviewing here today. And uh, sent to us by a company called Moon Cool. And, and I'm gonna tell you, whenever I saw it, it would look like, it looked like the type of quality that uh, I wanna put my name on and put my stamp on. Yeah, and Moon Cool, we thank you for sending us a beautiful, beautiful trike. This is the electric model, and it is the TK1 electric trike. So, without further ado, we're going to get out on the road, and we're going to do some testing with it. We're going to put it through all different scenarios. So, yeah, y'all grab something and hang on, and uh, we'll be back with you. Okay, y'all, first thing we wanted to say before we take off on the bike <clears throat> is the fact that it's, it's easy on and easy off. Has a, a nice step through here. The pedals are low. It has a low center of gravity also. It's a 500 watt hub motor and it's mounted to a speed differential system here, which helps with the straight axle system for the trikes. It's a 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery, adjustable seat, and before we take off, we'll show you how we adjust the seat, and we also have an adjustable stem here that you can raise up and down. It's got a nice basket. This comes standard with the bike. Basket on the front, a big heavy duty basket on the back, and I've also got my little cooler here who, who knows may try to go pick up some something after a while with it some shrimp or something and yeah and it's uh it's it's very it's very nice quality build i put a mirror on here this was mine it doesn't come standard with a mirror little display right here of course i'll show you all this power level i don't i'm not sure if you can see this because of glare but it, it, any of this specs and details that i go over today you can go to their website they've got beautiful specs and details there for uh for your reference and turn the power on hold the m button mode button down two seconds to turn it off you hold it down two seconds up on the plus button that's your power assist levels it's got five five pedal assist levels or power assist levels pedal assist down use the minus button to power it off, hold the M button down. Two seconds and it powers off. Simple, simple operation. Uh, show y'all maybe something here before we take off. Not sure if y'all can see that or not, but that's the right turn signal. and the left turn signal. And, and it has brake lights. To turn the headlight on, it has a, a nice LED headlight to turn it on. Hold the plus button down. And that light comes on. High quality beam there. Turn the light off, hold the plus button down. Okay, as we said, it's 500 watt hub motor, 750 peak watt, hydraulic disc brakes front and rear, and they do stop well. Okay, let's get on it and let's get took off and we'll, uh, we'll find some more things to tell you. Okay, here we go. Y'all, we're fixing to take off. We got our little Pelican ice chest on here. We got some camera equipment in it, some extra batteries. Uh, we've got our seat adjusted here. Quick release on the seat. Uh, quick release here on the stem. That's adjustable. 
and it has a max level here indicator that tells you you know how far you, you know you don't want to pull it out past that max level we're just going to pull it up to the max and, and we'll stop it there yeah we got our mirror set we got the power on our water bottle and let's go Now, the bike won't advance in pedal assist mode until you, you gotta press the plus button once, at least to get it into, to get it into level one, pedal assist. And after that, it takes off. It'll take off under, under your pedal power, or it'll take off with the throttle. Got a little rattling around back there, y'all. That's my that's my uh, ice chest. Hey, ma'am. Coming up on one of my favorite areas here. I think I think I'm gonna cut through here and let's. First of all, I want to see how it does. I'm gonna cut through here and get up on the sidewalk. And we're gonna put it through its put it through its first test, y'all. And that's going down this little grade right here. It's kind of a steep little grade that you gotta go down. Got a duck sitting on the bridge. Oh yeah, that's fine. Look out, Mr. Duck. Little Scoby Duck. And good morning to you. And how you doing? Isn't this beautiful? Okay, and power it has, y'all. Y'all know, I don't know if y'all noticed that or not, but it had sufficient power to pull up out of that grass there. And that's a pretty good little hill too. Y'all, I have to apologize to y'all. I've been sick this week and I still have some lingering effects. Uh, congestion. Uh, I thought I had COVID. So, if y'all can put up with that with me, we'll get. We'll. Uh, hopefully, we'll get better soon. But y'all might see the video cut off and on. Sometimes I may have to go to co take a coughing spell. If I do, I'll. I'll deal with that and edit it out. Okay, another another uh, test for it is crossing railroad tracks. that was no problem for it you know unlevel surfaces you would you know you'd think that may be a may be a little problem for it but so far I haven't found where that's a problem I haven't found that area yet where I would say hey stop before you do this <laughs> get <laughs> getting a lot of looks y'all they call this color cyan blue and it's one that my I let my wife pick it. It really sticks out. I won't go through all the colors for you. I'll just tell you, to, as with anything else that you need to know about this bike, is to go to the website. They have a, a nice informational website that will uh, take you through all the specs and features, the colors that are, that are offered. All right, we're going through Old Town here, Bay St. Louis. Let's just fall into the uh, traffic flow here. I'm gonna bump it up to pedal assist three.
And I think what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to just work our way down and go right on down across Bay St. Louis Bridge. Go down in front of the Buttercup Cafe here. And they are rocking and rolling. Yep, they busy. There's Miss Mary's ice cream parlor. So what about it? How do we get it to go? You can pedal it, as we said. You can pedal it and use the throttle, or you can simply use the throttle. Let's do that. And this is throttle only. Okay, how are we going to get across here? We use our throttle and just, uh, I'm going to go in right here where this little sandy area is. That's where I normally go. And here we go. Bay St. Louis Bridge is, uh, 2.1 miles long, one way. It has a varying grade at the top of it. Varies from, uh, from seven to 10 degrees. So we're gonna put the little TK1 trike to the test and see how it handles that grade. I'm not using any throttle at all right now. I'm just using the pedal assist. There's not much resistance in the pedals, y'all. It has an 18 tooth freewheel. I would like to see a little more resistance in the pedals. Y'all know how I am about ghost pedaling. But hey, you can work your legs. You can keep it moving. Okay, y'all, we're back on the Bay Bridge. Now we're officially starting up the grade. Just wanted to mention while we're going up this grade, it has 20 inch tires and they're three inches wide. They are the Chow, Chow Yang tires. I put 30 pounds pressure in it. Uh, it calls for 35 PSI as a max, so I just went with 30. It's a cloudy day, it's kind of breezy. But I can tell you, the little bike is having no problems getting up this grade. I feel no slowing down whatsoever. I mean, the pedal assist is working excellent. I'm not really adding anything to it by adding any throttle to it right now. Yeah, it's still actually gaining speed whenever we're coming up on, on the top here. I'm in uh, pedal assist four, and that's 13.1 mile per hour. And I look to be getting a little bit faster when we start going down this hill. It doesn't have a bell, it has a horn, electric horn. Hopefully y'all can hear that. I think I prefer a bell, but hey, that's, that's it's okay. The horn's there. I think about the people that could benefit from this trike. I can tell you this, first of all. I know my mother would have, my mother would have loved one of these. It may be for you. It may not be for you. Maybe it would be for your, some of your relatives. People who have mobility or stability problems, who can't ride a two-wheel bicycle. I think there's going to be a huge demand out there once people get to seeing the trike and how, and how the trike can help people get out and about 
I think there's a huge demand out there for these trikes. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna ride on over to the other side. Then we have a hill that we're gonna come down. That's gonna be the ultimate test for this trike. I want to see how it's gonna come down it. It's a it's a 15 to 16 degree grade. I want to see how it's gonna come down it, and I want to see how it's gonna come back up it. Uh, so far, I've felt no instances of tipping over. Uh, I haven't felt unsafe whatsoever. Well, let's see how it does on that hill. Okay, you guys, here we go. Nothing coming behind, nothing coming ahead. Little uneven surface right there, uh, angled, angled ride down that little sidewalk there, but here we go down. I mean, hey, just take it easy. Everything's fine. I didn't feel unsafe at all. Coming around this curve right here, yeah, you can feel it leaning a little bit, but just lean with it. It's okay. We'll ride around here for a minute. I just simulated running off the sidewalk right there to see what it, how it would do. One thing that I believe that they have built the bike and designed it with safety in mind as we cross the little highway here. What I'm gonna do is, is take some of these sidewalks right here. Some of these sidewalks are pretty curvy and uh, some of them are lean. You know, you hear tip over mentioned a lot when people start talking about these trikes. That's why they don't let you go 28 miles per hour on it. They have the speed regulated to 16 miles per hour. Now, could you put it in an instant where it could? Yes. I mean, let's, let's do this. We're going to leave off of this sidewalk. I'm going to go down through this grass right here. If I was going to do this, and y'all can see that's a pretty rough terrain right there, I would not hit that on an angle like this. I'm going to go straight down. So in order to do this, I'm just gonna go straight down. And that is not that is not a factor whatsoever for this bike. Y'all hear my ice chest rattling back there. That's not the bike. So yeah, keep good, but just always keep safety in mind as you're riding. So let's see if it'll climb this little hill right here. And it's kind of rough. Absolutely no problem. And this is rough but I, as we said I would not hit this on a I would not hit that on an angle because there's there's a place where you may you may put it in a situation where it could tip over do I feel it's unsafe absolutely not I would put I would put my uh, my spouse I would put my mother or father or grandfather or whatever uh, yeah, if there's one thing I can tell you is the bike is not limited to someone's age or their gender or their size, their way they're built. 
mean, you may have a teenager that's, uh, that has mobility issues. This bike would be exactly what they need. I think about veterans. Veterans who've come back from wars and they have injuries. I think this would be a, a perfect instrument for them to get back out and get outside. Okay, y'all remember when we came down the hill? Now we're gonna go back up it. Remember it's a 16 degree grade. Now I'm just gonna be pedaling only. I'm not gonna use the, uh, let's see, I'm in pedal assist one. I think I am gonna bump that up to pedal assist two. You know, you bump it up to pedal assist two, hey, it's gonna go that much faster. But I didn't really need to. Pedal assist one would have been perfect. Now right here, uneven surface, watch. You just take it real easy, okay? Throttle a little bit. Here we go. All right, pedal assist two, pedal assist three. Let's run back across Bay Bridge, y'all. We'll disconnect from you here and we'll catch back up with y'all on the other side. Okay guys, I stopped around here by the truck. I had to make a little pit stop and uh, wanted to wanted to just show y'all we're right here in front of a little event center. Got the Moon Cool TK1 trike up on the center stage here. And it deserves it deserves a place on the center stage. I wanted to talk to y'all about a few things that may I may have missed talking to you earlier about. And uh, number one is the battery. And as we said, this is a 48, 15 amp hour battery. And it's held in with a key. You lock it and unlock it here. That, if you lock it and lock it in place, no one, no one can take it off. But you don't have to take it off to charge it. You can charge it on the bike. It has a charger receptacle around here on the other side. Uh, hydraulic disc brakes, as we mentioned. 180 millimeter uh, rotors. I wanted to mention one thing that it won't show you. I didn't, I didn't do a, an unboxing and assembly because it's, it's, uh, it's elementary, y'all. It's such an easy thing to put together. Uh, it's packaged well. Uh, cut the box away and just, just pull, the, pull the box, pull the bike out of the box. But cut the box away and just remove it that way. Uh, just a few screws here. Four screws here hold the rack on. Four screws hold the basket on the rack. One screw holds the light on the rack, on the basket. And I'm gonna tell you, anybody can put this together. Uh, one screw on the fender, two screws on each, uh, one screw on each side of the fender to hold that fender on. One thing I wanted to show you that they won't show you, in, that they do, don't show you on the, uh, in the instructional manual <clears throat> is there's a little plastic insert in the brake caliper itself. You need to remove that before you try to put the front wheel on. Front wheel is easy to put on, especially because it won't flip over because both wheels are on the ground. You just simply, you can set it up. You know, I mean, just pick it up and just set the wheel under there. It works really easy. Quick release lever here. But yeah, remove that plastic insert, y'all, before you try to uh, put that wheel on. It'll make your day a lot better. I got my water. I put a water bottle holder on there. That is a very convenient location for a water bottle holder. I didn't break it down to uh, put it in my truck because it fit just perfectly right in the side of my truck. But if you're gonna break it down, here's how you do it. Reach, pull that, and then it will it will you know fold around. I won't do that for you, but that's just that's a simple operation right there. Okay, same way with the steering wheel. Pull a little lever up. There you go. Simple operation. 
I like the fact that it's got plenty of room to put fishing equipment. You can put your ice chest. You can put a casserole dish. You could put a crock pot. Go to grandma's house. I mean, it's got ample room up here on the on the handlebar for putting uh, gizmos and gadgets and everything. Your GPS, phones, mounts, mirror. Very happy with this bike, y'all. Very happy. We fixing to take off and we fixing to go down by the beach. So y'all, hang on, we on for another ride. Okay, y'all, we're heading down Washington Street here. We're heading out towards the uh, access area. Let me just slow it down. Let me just give y'all some speeds here. All right, I'm in a pedal assist. Pedal assist zero won't do anything, okay? Pedal assist one. Now we're in pedal assist one. Yeah, here we go. And just normal pedaling, pedal assist one is about eight miles per hour. Bump it up, pedal assist two. Pedal assist two is going to be around 9.9. .9. Let's go to pedal assist three. Three is going to be around 11.2 mile per hour. How about four? Now I'm not using the throttle, but I'm just using pedal, pedal and assist. Uh, Pedal assist four is 13.2 mile per hour. We just cruising right on down the road. Let's see, maybe I can get pedal assist five done on the other side of this stop sign here. Let me stop. It's kind of cloudy, it looks like it's fixing to rain. All right, pedal assist five. There you go, guys. That's 14.9 mile per hour, 15.5. Yeah, so figure around 15.5 for pedal assist five. Yeah. And now you can, I can hold my throttle down, pull the throttle around and you get it up to 16, but it's gonna limit out at 16. That's as far as it's gonna go. But that's as fast as you want to go on this trike anyway, safely. Well, I stopped back there and there was some kind gentleman was asking me about the bike. And, and of all times, I left my business cards. I left my business cards in my truck. I usually have them in my bag, but I'm on, not on my regular bikes that have the bag. Note to self, always put business cards on the bike. But they loved the Moon Cool trike, and they, they was telling me about how it would benefit uh, a lot of people that they knew that had mobility issues. All right, here's another thing let's, we're gonna do on this leg of the journey, we're gonna do the, the beach path. The bike path that runs along the beautiful sandy beaches of Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. I don't know how far we'll go down, but just, just go down enough to, to uh, get the idea. I was, they asked me, they asked me how far I had been. And I told them, I said, well, so far I've been uh, 11, 11 miles. I went across Bay St. Louis Bridge, went over to Henderson Point, come back, went back to my pickup truck, and then come back to the Washington Street access area. And I still have the same battery power on the meter on the display here that I started with. And that's uh, incredible. They say uh, 35 to 45 miles. I believe I, I believe I got that right. I don't. I don't know that. I believe that's going to vary with the with the weight of the person riding it. 
I believe it'll vary with wind, just like with any other e-bike. So yeah, that would be, uh, I think about the payload. My brother and I was talking about uh, some different scenarios you could build with this bike as far as like disc golf, disc golfers, uh, regular golfers. Now, regular golf, would that be a challenge because of the weight of the golf bag? I think if as long as it's slung low on the back, if you could hang it off the back of that rack back there somehow, I think it would make an excellent golf cart. Could you imagine that? Someone who has mobility issues, like we said, and they can't, you know, they, they want to walk, but they can't walk the golf course. Hey, climb on your moon cool and take off. Put your back, put your, put your golf clubs on the back. I mean, most people, if they're walking, they're going to pack a light, back, light pack anyway. They're just going to throw a driver, uh, maybe a 7-iron, and a, uh, maybe a chipping wedge or something like that in their putter. Maybe four clubs, and you could, that's all you'd need to carry. Could you engineer something? Sure you could. Talk about comfort. I tell you, I've got this seat adjusted perfectly to where I'm getting the best leg extension for my legs. The handlebar height is perfect. I, I'm not reaching over. I got an upright stance. Everything, everything's just perfect on the comfort of this bike. The seat, hey, what can I say? It's got a good little bitch seat. I haven't even considered my uh, butt hurting yet. So that tells you that it's a, it's a, cause most bikes that come with us, their stock seat that they come with, that's the first thing I want to rip off because I can't ride a bike with one of them little stock seats. This one, it's like sitting on the school bus seat. It'll take you where you want to go from point A to point B. Thank you. That lady liked my bike, and I liked her bike. The man on the golf cart there, he, was, he drove right along beside me for a while, and he, he said, you know you're going 14 mile per hour. I said, yes, sir. He said, that thing must have a motor on it. I said, yes, sir. <laughs> he said, that's the way to go. Okay, y'all, hope y'all have enjoyed the ride with us today. I thought of it would be a fitting location to end the ride here at the, the uh, Veterans Memorial Park in Waveland, Mississippi. I'm sorry that I may have been under the weather a little bit, but hey, we had fun with the review, I can tell you that. We had fun riding the Moon Cool TK1. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about the bike, check on the website. I'll put the link down in the description. And there will also be some coupon codes there that if they fit, they fit your, uh, the amount that you're looking at spending with the company, hey, you can possibly use those for an additional discount. As far as customer service is concerned, customer service is based in the United States. Uh, delivery will be from the United States. Delivery for accessories will be from the United States out in the West in California. So we'll ask y'all one, hey, we'll ask y'all one favor. If you like the video, if the video has been some value to you, we hope you'll hit that like and that subscribe. And hey, we put our email down in the, in the uh, description there and we'll post it on the screen. If you have a question about the bike, feel free to co uh, contact me and ask me any questions you wish and I'll be glad to tell you. I can tell you, there's been no smoke and no mirrors with this review. I'm, what I'm telling you is my, that's my honest opinion on it. This is a great bike and I'm, I can bet you there's several people that you can think of right now that could benefit from this e-trike TK1 by Mooncool. Thank you very much. We'll catch y'all out there on the trail somewhere.